Hola a todos. Hola, Steven. Hola, chicos. Hola, Inara. ¿Qué tal, Steven? Muy bien. ¿Y tú? Oh, muy, muy bien. What are we going to study in lesson 28? So, today's topic is relatives, part one. Today we, we will see qué, what, el qué, and quién. So, mm -hmm. qué, el qué, and quién, they can mean who and whom. So, let's start with an example with qué. So, the first one, ¿has visto el paquete que ha llegado? Have you seen the Have you seen the bag that has come? Uh, so here we use a uh, relative que to join mm -hmm. these two parts of the phrase. Mm -hmm. uh, so in, in English, it's better to say which, yeah, in this case. Yes, mm -hmm. which. Or the next one. El chico con el que sale nieves es bombero. The guy whom ni nieves goes at, out or have dates is mm -hmm. a fireman. Nieves, is it a girl's name? Yes. It's a girl's mm -hmm. name. Mm -hmm. So the guy with um, uh, who is, yeah? Uh, uh, you say, in English we say who is, and you say um, with whom, yeah, with whom mm -hmm. uh, goes out uh, near this, yeah, uh, is yes. uh, fireman, is a fireman. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so guys, let me remind you that with professions uh, in Spanish, we do not use any articles. Ah, yes, with professions. Mm -hmm. And please, uh, why do we say in here el que? Because like uh, el, uh, he's a boy, yeah? Yes, like, but mm -hmm. we use el que for persons, right? Mm -hmm. Because we, we don't use que with persons. And a person, if a person is a lady, can do we say ella que? La que. Ah, la que. Um, nice, cool, cool, cool. Yes. cool. For example, la chica mm -hmm. con la que sale. Hector. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, what for we do we use relatives? So we mm -hmm. use them to give information, yes, about previous actions. Yes. So we in that in that case we don't have to repeat it again. Mm -hmm. Repeat it again. For example, tengo un loro. I have a parrot. Right? Mm -hmm. El loro habla. The parrot speaks. Mm -hmm. So, if we want them together, we say, Tengo un loro que habla. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I have a parrot which speaks. Nice, cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, in so that case, we are not a, say, we are, Yeah, we, we don't have to say parrot, parrot again. Yeah, and uh, in this case, like, it helps uh, to uh, make uh, from two simple sentences to make uh, not a simple sentence, let's say. Yes. More, more like academic, maybe. Mm -hmm. For example, he recibido una revista. Mm -hmm. I have got, I have received magazine. Right? Mm -hmm. Clara escribe en esta revista. Clara writes in this magazine. Present so, uh, tense, yeah? Yes, she present writes. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so we can say he recibido una revista en la que escribe Clara. So mm -hmm. I have got a magazine in which Clara writes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we are making more complex sentences here. Uh -huh. And here, la que we say because it's uh, we are talking about Clara. The, the magazine. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Position N, in, in which she writes. Uh, she, la, it's uh, for she. No, la que is for the magazine, la revista. Mm -hmm. Okay, in that case, I have a question. Why do we say sometimes, like uh, like in this example, as, as visto el paquete que ha llegado? Yeah, in here, mm -hmm. we do not say, for example, el que ha llegado. Because we don't have, we, we don't know, um, we don't have previous information. For example, here we have the information about, the, we are talking about a guy, right? So here we don't have anything. El, has visto el paquete que mm -hmm. ha llegado. Not clear, not clear, sorry. Uh, Steve, not clear. Not clear. Okay. For, yeah, for example, uh, here, uh, how do we know, like, el chico uh, con el que uh, sale nieves es bombero. We are talking about <laughs> this uh, girl uh, for the first time, aren't we? Mm, yes, we, we can. Yeah, why, why do we, in, in this case, say, uh, we, use, we use article and in the first example, we do not use article. Ah, okay. 
I thought that <clears throat> in life uh, we use only for uh, humans, uh, and in the example with the um, magazine, it is not a human. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Here we are using ke in order to say what. Yeah. What? But we can use we can use ke. Or, I mean, we can all use all these relatives with persons, animals, or uh, things. Mm -hmm. Right? Doesn't mm -hmm. matter. What's the difference? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah. Is it because of proposition? Uh -huh. No, no. Here, look. Here, for example, we already mentioned the noun. We, we already have the noun. Has visto el paquete? That's the packet that has come, which oh, has I come. See. And in this case, we don't have the noun. So we mentioned the guy. And mm -hmm. here we already mentioned with the guy with that is going out with. Okay, we'll see. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Uh, not clear still. Uh, maybe with uh, some exercises, uh, I will I will understand. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, for example, okay, we, we see here about the magazine. Mm, he received una revista. La revista Clara escribe en esta revista. Yes. So I have got a magazine. Clara she wrote in this magazine. Mm -hmm. so, in my opinion, uh, like um, as I feel, yeah, as I feel, uh, as I see, like uh, because here, because we use uh, con uh, and in he, con el que, yeah, with the with the example with bombero, and here mm -hmm. uh, again we use uh, not just que, we use en la que because of prepositions, uh, we use el o la. Mm -hmm. Prepositions uh, force us to use uh, articles. Yes, and actually, um, it's like hmm, in English. Yes. For example, in English, uh, we even if we mention if we mention anything for the first time, but still we use uh, the yeah article the on the table. Like uh, when, some, well, for example, if you ask me like oh, where is my phone, I say it is on the table, even though uh -huh. uh, I'm mentioning it for the first time because it's like clear which table, like this table, yeah. Not just a random a table anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. So let's continue then. Uh, in some cases, um, the information that is given to us help us to identify uh, about the noun. Which noun are we talking about? For example, yes. Quien es Begonia? Who is Begonia? Right? Mm -hmm. Es la chica mm -hmm. que está bailando con Pedro. Mm -hmm. Is the girl who is dancing with Pedro. Mm -hmm. See, here we do not use, uh, before care mm -hmm. we do not use any preposition, that's why we just say care without any Ella. Yes, it's also because we, also, we already have the noun here. Okay, guys, as you see, we explain things in different ways, like uh, Stephen explains as a, as a native speaker, and I use as a person uh, for whom, like, it's not, <clears throat> I, I try to analyze, yeah, more, I, I try to analyze, analyze Spanish more than, like, and compare it maybe with English <clears throat> as a foreigner, you know, to give you some uh, associations. Okay, so let's see the next one. El coche que está delante del banco es el mío. The car which is in front of the bank is mine. Just here we also, we didn't use el que. So here we are identifying about what are we talking about. We know that the car or the gear. Mm -hmm. In other cases, we use it to define our noun. For example, un carnicero es una persona que vende carne. Butcher. Yeah, a uh, person who cuts uh, meat, yeah? Ah, yes, butcher. Mm -hmm. A butcher is a person who sells meat. So here we are defining who is he. Who is what is a butcher? Mm -hmm. Yes, in this case we identify, and in this cases we define. Mm -hmm. That's like wh why we use relatives. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how we can use them? Okay, we can use just k, right? We can use just k as we already saw k mm -hmm. with any prepositions, or we can use prepositions plus eh, el que, la que, los que, quienes. Y quién? Mirara. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you mind quién? Who? Quién means who, yeah? Yes, yes, who. Okay, in that case, uh, really, uh, before you said, I, I, I improved you, I said that, uh, like, so in, in, in some cases uh, in Spanish, you use uh, for people, 
like uh, you say that yeah el chico con el que sale nieves es bombero so mm -hmm. in here in, in english we say only who and you say that yes or uh, like or you can say quien for example mm -hmm. can we say el chico uh, con quien uh, yes. sale nieves okay, es bombero yes the difference uh -huh. we are using quien uh -huh. choose is choose for persons okay yes mm -hmm. It will be always for persons. Mm -hmm. That's the, the important thing. So, que, we use it to mention persons, animals, and things. For example, persons. Las chicas que conocimos ayer son de Córdoba. The girls that we met yesterday, they are from Córdoba. Mm -hmm. Yes. For example, for animals, el cóndor es un ave que procede de América del Sur. Condor is a bird that proceeds. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Condor what? It's a bird. Sir? Bird. Bird. Ah, uh, like a uh, hay on your face? No, no, no. Beard. Bird. Bird. Bird? Okay. <laughs> bird? <laughs> yeah, or we say like bird in, in like bird. an American way. Okay. <clears throat> uh, the bird? The bird? Yes, condor is a bird that. Mm, it's come, yes, it's come from comes, uh -huh. comes from America, from South, South America. Okay. It is from animals and with things. Yes. No me gusta el libro que estoy leyendo. I don't like the book that I'm reading. So we can use it for all of them. Mm -hmm. So it's important to talk about uh, the article that we are using with el que la que, los que, las que, right? Mm -hmm. So it will always change the uh, dependence on the our noun. For example, ese es el perro del que te hablé. This is the dog which I told you about. Or for example, here we use plural. Las chicas con las que estaban jugando son mis sobrinas. Mm -hmm. Okay, the girls which you were playing, they are my nieces. Nieces, yeah. Uh, uh, which uh, uh, estaba played? Uh -huh. Estaba which, played. Is it past? Past. Okay. Um, in that case, the girls uh, with which with those with those, yeah. Uh, ah, with with. Estaba is for you, correct? Yes. Uh, you played. Uh, you have played. I I or, I. I mean I. Estaba. Las chicas con las que estaba. Estaba. Yeah. Is it? Uh, I was playing. Yes. Okay, uh, the girls uh, with uh, those uh, I was playing uh, are my nieces. So the girls with those I was playing are my nieces. Great. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. So it's important that to remember that yes, feminine and plural, mm -hmm. masculine and singular. Mm -hmm. So here again, I will repeat it again that we use only quien and quienes just to mention it, only persons. Mm -hmm, people. Right? Yes, people. Mm -hmm. El chico con quien sale nieves es bombero. For example, the, this exam, uh, example that you told me. El chico con quien, right? Or we can mm -hmm. say el eh, con el que. Las chicas con quienes estaba jugando. Mm -hmm. Same. And uh, okay, we can use here uh, the article lo. It's a surprise. Mm -hmm. Can use lo mm -hmm. to mention any affirmation or any idea. Mm -hmm. For example. Ah, I see. Like, uh, and uh, we do not know. Like, and, and it's like neuter. It's not uh, uh -huh. um, masculine, it's not feminine, it's neuter. Yes. For example, lo que has dicho es una tontería. Mm -hmm. Here, this we say like, what have you say is a uh, foolishness, foolishness, silly. Silly. or silly, silliness. Yeah, like in your case, uh, you say like it's a noun mm -hmm. in Spanish. It's silly. noun, and in English uh, they say that um, we say just uh, it's silly. Okay, what have you what have you say is silly? Mm -hmm. Yes. Or lo que tú necesitas es mucho cariño. Mm -hmm. yes. What you need is a lot of love. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I'll tell you this thing. Lo que tú necesitas es mucho cariño. Sí. Yes, you can say that, I bet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I feel. So here you mentioned any affirmation or any idea. Yeah, <clears throat> it's like, uh, like in this case, it's neuter, like it. Yeah, we, yes. that's why we use law. It's clear, especially for Russian speaking people. Okay, some examples are ready. Okay, let's, let's use this one. ¿Quién es Roberto? Uh, who is Roberto? Un chico que conocí uh, en el parque. A boy who... Conocí, what is it? Like about? Meet. Uh, is it a past tense in this case? Yes. Uh-huh. Who met? I have met or who met? Conocí. conocí. Yeah, I, I have, have I have met. Uh, I met, not I have met. I met. I met, I met, I met. Um, uh, un chico que conocí en el parque. Uh, one boy who... I met uh, in the park. So we make um, uh, one sentence from two simple sentences uh, uh, with care. <clears throat> ¿Qué es? Uh, what is uh, un abstemio? Uh, una persona que no bebe alcohol. Mm-hmm. Uh, easy. So <clears throat> a person who, uh, in this case, you say uh, that. Uh, doesn't drink alcohol. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, ¿Qué le has regalado a Cristobal? Cristobal is Christopher. In English? Yeah. Yes. ¿Qué le has regalado a Cristobal? What have mm-hmm. you give, given? Uh, given. To Christ- mm-hmm. Given to Cristobal. Mm-hmm. Un cuadro. Cuadro, what is it? Picture. Mm-hmm. A picture, yeah. Un cuadro que lo he pintado yo. A picture uh, which I have painted. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yes, only the thing is that que he pintado yo, right? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, <clears throat> why? Explain, please. Because... We use care, yeah. that's why we do not use uh, law. We don't use law. And law is for, you know, um, affirmations or any idea. Yeah. In this case, you say lo he pintado yo. Yes, you are affirming that you painted, right? But yeah. here you are put these two sentences together. Yeah, yeah, clear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, and like we use law here because we do not know like uh, what exactly. We are concentrating our listeners' uh, in attention to pro- to the process, to the information, not to the picture. Am I right? That's why you use law. Law. Yes. Because, like, uh, we're not talking about any noun here. We're talking mm-hmm. about uh, this action. The we're talking action. about here an action. Okay, that's why I use that. Law. Okay. Claire, ¿quién uh, hace tanto ruido? What? ¿Quién hace tanto ruido? Mm-hmm. Who is being so loud? Loud, uh, loud. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm, so loud. Okay. Unos um, ombre- obreros. What does obreros mean? People who work, for example, in construction. Uh, builders. Mm, okay. Uh, unos obreros. Uh, workers. Workers. But construction is builders. Yes, but it's not only for construction, you know. So uh, workers, okay. Okay, mm-hmm. workers in this case. Unos uh, obreros. Can I use quién and quiénes? Or, or in, this sent- in this exercise, I have to use only qué. Can you check this? Because I want to say uh, unos obreros. Quiénes uh, están... Arreglando la calle. No, we use... Um, Only que. La que. Okay. Mm-hmm. So in that case, uh, uh, unos obreros uh, sí. que están arreglando la calle. Unos obreros que están arreglando la calle. Right? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so... I think that we uh, can move forward to this, the next one. Yeah. <clears throat> But let's translate this uh, sentence. Uh, some workers, uh, those arreglando, uh, work, repair. Uh, fixing, yes. Like repair. repair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who are repairing um, the street. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Exercise number 28.4. Mm-hmm. ¿Quién es esa chica? Uh, la que trabaja. We do not have any exercises with quién on quién for some reason. Ah, mm, oh, no, 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 above, 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 we had. Okay, guys, uh, like, please uh, complete these exercises uh, without our help. Yeah, you can do it. As you see, even I, I'm not making any mistakes for some reason still. 
Ok. Quelle est cette chica who is this uh, girl la que trabaja con Eduardo? Uh, that that uh, works uh, alors, trabaja yeah, works, yeah, word. works with Eduardo. Ok. Tu quieres es imposible. Ah, ok. Lo que tu quieres es imposible. Mm -hmm. Because we, we are talking about not a noun, we are talking about an action. Like, <clears throat> uh, and we're like, it's neuter. Um, that's why we use what, what that means. That's why we use law. Mm -hmm. You didn't say what that means. Lo que tu quieres es imposible. Ah, sorry, sorry. So in English, it is, it is like, yeah, uh, that, that is, you want, uh, is impossible. Mm -hmm. I would say like, what you want is impossible. Yeah, yeah, but mm, it, it just, it, it, we cannot say what because it's not what, care. Ah, oh, no, no, it's this, care. It is what, yeah? Que. This sorry. <laughs> lo que tú quieres, right? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, <clears throat> uh, but as you, as uh, like, uh, I would like to mention, guys, that uh, when we make mistakes, we, that's how we learn. <clears throat> that's why I do not care about my mistakes. Okay. <clears throat> So uh, I've been teaching for some quite some time, and I've noticed that uh, children, like uh, who are super young and didn't go to school yet, <clears throat> haven't gone to school yet, they are not scared of mistakes, and then and they progress very quickly, like when they study. That's why, for example, in Finland uh, and in Japan, in like <clears throat> primary school, they do not mark their students. That's how they encourage students to make mistakes and to learn in this way. ¿Qué libro estás leyendo? What book uh, are you reading? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. El que me presto, Antonio. Mm -hmm. Presto. Presto. Mm -hmm. El que me presto, Antonio. Uh, the one, uh, sorry, which, you say the which. Yeah, the which I was presented by Antonio. No? Pres, pres, presto means he gave me. Ah, gave me, ah, okay. Uh, the witch, the witch means book. Well, in English, we say just witch. To me... Lend, uh, lend. Ah, lend, okay. Mm -hmm. To me, uh, lend it, uh, Antonio. Again, yeah? please, again. Which, and you say the witch, to me, lend it, Antonio. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> easy. In this case, yeah, we I, I understand why we use lake, uh, LK, because like, <clears throat> not to mention again the nouns uh, we are asked about mm -hmm. okay i think easy <clears throat> guys uh, of course uh, if you have questions like you, you can first of all you can check your answers in the end of, the, of this book if you have some doubts <clears throat> please write about them in the comments below like uh, and help you each other we like have five youtube channels that's why we do not have time to answer all like comments that's why we encourage you guys to help each other i'm sure like uh, super smart ones uh, watch our videos and like you can to be teachers, like our helpers here yeah, to <clears throat> guys who have questions about grammar. And uh, we promise you that in the near future, we'll make a video about uh, Spanish slang and swear words. Uh, I think you'll be happy. Anyway, I'll be happy to make this uh, lesson because I like swearing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, Steven, as usual, thank you very much. Um, we love you a lot. Mm, you help us a lot. Uh, like your karma, <clears throat> your karma. Uh, by, by, by the way, like people who believe in karma, you guys like can laugh at me, but I believe in karma. So <clears throat> uh, anyway, it's like you do good thing uh, people and some, somehow good things happen in your life. And I, and I read like some uh, very ancient, in ancient books that Biggest karma have people who feed and uh, who teach. So, mm -hmm. especially who teach for free, like we do on through our YouTube channel. And of course, guys, we thank everyone who donates to our project through PayPal. You can do it, and you can find us uh, on uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram. Write us how you love us, uh, and we invite you to our free trial classes, speaking, especially speaking Spanish classes. Gracias a todos, adiós amigas y amigos. Adiós chicos.